Hello, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. This is part three of a four part series of demonstrations of features CapAng has to offer for EPDM. In this video, I will be discussing reject notification. Reject notification adds the ability to automatically notify an originator of a document that the approval requested has been rejected. It uses the history of the document to determine who to notify. For example, notifying a user that submitted a document for an approval that requires changes is usually done through a transition that has set up dynamic notification. If a user is not on the dynamic notification list, or if you accidentally select the wrong person on the list, then the originator may never get notified of the change request. Let me show you what a typical EPDM rejection might look like. So here we have a typical approval process where a document sits in a waiting for approval state. It's approved by various people through the approval transition. And then it's uh, is determined whether it's approved or not in this uh, approval completed state. And if so, it uh, completes or if not, returns back. In addition to that, of course, we have a reject, which sends it back to the initiator. In a normal setup of dynamic notification, one would select the transition, hit notification, and then select the individual or the group that you want to set, designate for no, uh, dynamic notification. You can see here I've selected several different groups so that all the possible users that require a notification are listed in the transition form. For my vault, I've created only about a dozen users. But for a large company, this could be dozens and dozens, if not even over a hundred. This can be a somewhat daunting task now to select the correct users for notification. Let me show you what the reject notification process would look like in this case. Here we have several ECRs in the process of being approved. If we look at uh, ECR number 21 here, we can see that it's in the initiate state. And if we look through the history, you can see that several people have approved it. And finally, uh, it looks like Mark had rejected it. So now as Mark, I'm going to go ahead and reject uh, ECR number 20 there. I'm going to select reject, type in any particular comments that I might have to do it. If you notice, I'm not going to bother selecting all the notifications. Just hit OK. And once again, this document then is sent back to the initiated state while the notifications are being sent out. So now to show that the notifications were sent out, uh, I have a virtual machine here that's logged on as Eric. Uh, you can see I'm logged into the vault there. Here I am logged on as Eric. And I'm going to go ahead while I'm waiting for this notification to show up uh, to open up the inbox so you can see what some of the notifications were uh, from pr other previous documents. So we're waiting for the inbox to turn on. You'll see here the task, I'm sorry, the text messages. Here's one from Quincy. Uh, you can see that the file listed below has been rejected for the following reasons. So it looks like uh, a file that Quincy got, uh, Quincy rejected, uh, Eric got a notification of. Okay, we're going to wait a few more seconds here while we get the, oh, there it is. Uh, so now we have the notification that uh, we have another, well, another text note message. So I'm going to go over here, uh, refresh uh, my inbox. And now you can see the reject notification that was sent from Mark. Uh, again, Mark didn't actually have to do any of the notification. It was just done through the reject notification feature. There's one option with reject notification that, is, that integrates it with the dynamic approval that you saw in the previous demo. If you select one of these ECRs, you can see that we have the selection of the people that have approved it. In the reject, we'd like those, if not necessary, to have those wiped out during the uh, reject notification. So I'm going to go back to my settings card where all our options are set up uh, for all our different features. I'm going to turn on the include dynamic notification. 
save that file, and now come back to the uh, uh, ECRs. Go ahead and right click on my uh, number 19 there. Let's take a quick look at it here. You can see the uh, who has approved it, and we'd like those again to be wiped out during the approval or the rejection. So right click, reject. Again, put my little comments in here. I don't have to do the uh, uh, notification box there unless I, there's someone else that I want to notify about it. Go ahead and hit OK. And now once again, this document's going to get moved back to the initiated state. Uh, the originator as well as all the approvers have been notified, it's been rejected, and you can see that the approver names have all been wiped out. But they, the uh, check boxes have not, so they're still selected. And now finally to show you that the originator or uh, initiator of this uh, of these ECRs, which was Iris in every case, uh, is being notified in addition to those other users. I'm going to open up my virtual machine here again, uh, log out as uh, Mark. Uh, let me close these out first. Gonna go ahead, log out as Mark, and then I'm going to log back in as Iris, who was the initiator uh, of all these particular documents. And then, of course, as I log in, um, I should get the indications or the notifications uh, from SolidWorks. And there they are. So I'll go ahead and I'm going to click on these, open up uh, to see what they are. And you can see here these different notifications have been sent out that uh, files have been rejected. If I go look at my inbox, I should see the same thing, uh, plus all the history of it. Okay, let's go ahead and open these up, and once again, you can see all the different people that have sent me uh, uh, reject notifications. Uh, the subject of the email is controlled again in the settings tab as well as uh, the the content of the messages. Okay, um, I think uh, that's about it for. Uh, reject notification. In summary, reject notification simplifies the notification of users of document changes uh, by reading the history of the document and sending out uh, the notifications accordingly. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Uh, stay tuned for the part four of the four-part series, which uh, is email notifications that Cap Inc. has done uh, that integrates it in with the second video of dynamic approvals as well as doing dynamic notifications similar to uh, enterprise uh, implementation but just done slightly differently. Uh, again, thank you very much for your time. Hope you enjoyed it.